today's episode of We Build Art, But We Build Functional Art, we have a handful of screws, some strips. Come on, I had this over here for a reason. Give me back my tool, my power tool. Thank you. And a Milwaukee power tool. And this beautiful art piece that we made from scratch. The team, go team. This is supposed to fit in here, hopefully. Down in this hole here. And I think we, I hope we got our measurements right. So once this is down in the hole, the strips go on the side to cover in the offset so that the hole doesn't fill up with dirt. That way they only have to fill in the left and right side. Once that's in there, secured with the strips, we put the pot in, level the pot up, bam, done, back to 3301 Curtis to make some more. All right, what we're doing is just our final touch-up brushing. Fingerprints and the discoloration from the weld. I wanted to kind of knock some of that down a little bit and be a good Samaritan. Got little finishing touches. Customers tend to appreciate things like that. And it goes to say what you care about in your craftsmanship. You can't always get everything 100% perfect, but if you take extra steps, you can get close. Get rid of that little brownie. Bam, bam. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got this all installed. We got our flaps on the side installed so that the dirt can't go back in the hole and fill it up since this is hollow. And um, we just finished brushing it, uh, touching it up with our scratchy pads. What are these called? Emery gloss? No. Scratch brights. Thank you. Thank you. Assistant cameraman said scotch brights. So, uh, yeah, here it is. It's done. It's in. This is all we have to do for this. And then let's go over here and look at our next spot. Our next spot's pretty rad. So, they have a bunch of nosy neighbor Nellies in the public, right? They are standing over here at the railing and uh, peeking their heads in like, what are they doing over there, right? So, we're going to create some privacy. We're going to have, this one's not so private, but we're going to have a really cool... Uh, elongated diamond shape here with the oval behind it which is going to be coming out and flowing into these other two planters here and then over here we have a live wall it's going to come about 77 inches off the wall perforated holes on the back planter sticking off of that with the grid pattern with some more uh, elongated uh, diamond shapes and they're going to be made out of half inch solid round bar and then the plants should be able to vine up and grow over it and give these guys some privacy throughout the year so Kind of a weird place to have a, a lookout right here, looking right into uh, the customer's private space. So, uh, oh yeah, oh, and then the other thing we got to build too. We got a lot to do this week. Is in this corner over here, we have the pump and all the stuff for this waterfall fountain thing. So, the pump goes over here, building a box for the pump is actually the base for our sculpture. We have some two inch round. Uh, brass coming from uh, Lewis Brass in New York and we're going to shape that thing like this and then we're going to cut some big elephant ears on the plasma table out of some light gauge aluminum and hammer them all and fold them up and bend them and then water's going to trickle from one leaf to the next leaf to the next leaf to the next leaf until it comes down and uh, goes into the bottom pool of this uh, fountain. So that's going to be a fun challenge. Uh, we got some blue demon welding products coming in that are going to allow us to weld that brass to the aluminum. We're gonna use Blue Demon Triple Plate. Got different sizes of that. Got a bunch of silicon bronze. We're gonna make some cattails that go in there with, with, uh, with brass heads and um, aluminum finial points on them. It's gonna be pretty fun and cool. Stay tuned for that. You don't wanna miss it. It's so cool.